Our reservation hey. is so so big. Are you? We might hey. need to stay another day. Good around here. Hello. Thank you very much. Stronger now. Hello. Hi. Uh, what's up, that this mp3 player was already out in stores <sighs> this one's got great specs too while i'm at it might as well snatch up a new amp seems like you're really into this stuff well normally your average smartphone's more than enough but once you start hunting for that hi-fi sound it becomes a rabbit hole no end in sight oh, that yeah 
Bottom time to dive in. <laughs> All right. Damn, we're so close now. Aloha. Thank you. me at the time I had to look after a lost three-year-old. Luckily, the family hurried over. The kid just would not leave me alone. Dang, they were that attached? Yep. The kid would start crying without me, so I ended up accompanying the family home. I had dinner with them and everything before I left, too. Real odd experience, that was. Wow. Guess kids really like you, Adachi-san. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I hope that kid's still... We're really opening up. Like I've gotten to know them well. That's weird. What is? Well, the internet crapped out on my phone. So is this the end of the world? I don't know, it just won't connect all of a sudden. Damn thing was fine till now. Yeah, sometimes the signal gets spotty, depending on the place. Yeah, no internet? It's like I'm cut off from the rest of humanity. 
You're not cut off from anyone. You've got us, pal. Just think of all the good times we've... Hey, it's back! Oh, ho, ho. Whew. Thought I was a goner. Uh, you know, I think Ichiban was being real genuine. Yeah? Yeah, my bad. That was a list. Just forget it. Aw, you... What? You got a problem? Let's see what you Ready. got! Time to throw down! Okay, I'm up. It's you and me! Don't get caught! Oh, is it go time? <laughs> let's go, let's go. Don't get caught. Well, I'm waiting. Here I come. Armed and ready. Here's the shot. Let's go. Damn it! The money's gone! If this shit's gonna happen, we should be making more deposits at the ATM. Well, all I can do for now is get back on my feet, grab some grub. What are you looking at? Yeah. <laughs> hey. No. Okay. Great. Let's do it. Battle is on. Yeah. Open one. 
up. It works. <laughs> Yummy. It works.
Okay. Say, Akane-san, mind if I ask something? These people... Why are they after the two of you? Uh, it's this. It's what Lonnie's carrying. Huh? Lonnie, would you show him? Um... It's okay. Kuska-san's someone you can trust. That's Polycana's insignia. It is. I've seen this before somewhere. Oh! Before! Bryce was wearing one that looked like that. Callan and Dana and the other Polycana followers. They all dress pretty similar, but none of them had a pendant quite like this. No wonder it stood out at the time. This one's unique. It's the sage of Polycana's birthright. It's been passed down through generations since the Order was founded. A sacred relic. Truly one of a kind. One of a kind, huh? But that would mean... Right. Therein lies the problem. You see, I met Lonnie only recently. About two weeks ago now, I think. It was late. Close to midnight, best as I recall. The rest of the orphanage staff had gone. The children were all asleep. I'd been catching up on paperwork, staying overtime. Staying until midnight? I guess you had a lot of responsibility as director. <laughs> Thanks for saying so, but it's a rewarding job. Anyway, it was around then I heard a knock on the door. And there she was. Lonnie, in all my time at the orphanage, no one had ever come to us like that. Alone, in the middle of the night. Lonnie, what brought you to Akane-san's place? I never had a mom or dad. I grew up with my grandma. But then, grandma got sick. She went to the hospital. They told us she wouldn't get better. I'm really sorry. Grandma said, if she had to leave me, she needed to make sure I'd be okay. She gave me this pendant and a letter, and said that in Honolulu, there's a Polycana orphanage I should go to. What was in the letter? It's less of a letter, more of a will, but not from Lonnie's grandmother. It's 70 years old. Written by Pollock Hanna's sage at the time. Now that's pretty fucking interesting. What does it say, Akane-san? I've memorized every word of it. If, in the event of my death, Bryce Fairchild is named Sage of Pollock Hanna, his claim must be deemed illegitimate and falsely gained. <gasps> The rightful sage, as elected by our officers, shall be born only of the Mililani family. To this true successor, I bequeath our most precious heraldry. Oh. The Mililani family has one living heir. Lani. When she brought that to me, I could scarcely believe it was authentic. Yeah, I'm sure. The whole time, Bryce must have seemed like a righteous leader. You couldn't have known he was hiding anything. That's why... That's why I fell into his trap. I called Bryce to ask him about it. You did what came naturally. That letter was way too much to handle on your own. It would have been standard procedure to inform Bryce, I'm sure. Thank you. But standard or not, it was the worst move I could have made. I got Lonnie something to eat and called Bryce's number. Despite how late it was, 
Bryce immediately said he'd come over. <laughs> that was when I started feeling like something was wrong. <sighs> Bryce got there acting like usual. <laughs> then he saw the pendant and the will. Before I knew it, Lonnie had a gun pointed at her. Oh. All I could do was take her hand and run away. But Bryce's men were already after us. We were being hunted. Everyone in Polycon I used to trust turned on us. But somehow, we got to Night Square, where Kyo-san was willing to give us shelter. You were in my turf from the very start, and I never found you. Ugh, I'll never live this shit down. Don't be so hard on yourself. Since you and Bryce are enemies, it meant Night Square was safe for them. Wait, didn't Dana say that Akane-san left a letter behind? With all his resources, I bet the Sage has a forger on payroll. I guess so. That means the police who gave up looking are probably with Bryce, too. Anyway, if he was ready to kill a little girl just like that, this is the real deal. That night, did he come alone? Mm. Maybe he didn't want his people learning the truth. Now every gang in Hawaii is trying to cover it up. By now, he must be desperate. Uh, hey, Akane-san. What did the will mean about him being illegitimate? From what I understand, the last sage was killed in a robbery, along with his wife. Bryce claims that the sage entrusted his pendant to him as he was dying. If falsely gained means what I think it might... Then Bryce might have been behind that robbery, huh? Seems like the last sage saw Bryce for what he was, according to the will. In that case, this pendant's the real thing. And Bryce's must be... Most likely, a fake. The last sage could have sent something amiss and switched pendants in advance. Probably, considering what he wrote down. Now it makes sense. Bryce would do anything to keep that secret. So this Millie-Lani family, what happened? They must have known the danger they'd face challenging him. Even after so long. Bryce is crazed when it comes to maintaining power. Uh, seems that way. And so, the Millie-Lani family abandoned Palakana for their own safety. Lani's grandmother had no ties to them. I doubt she even fully knew the pendant's true worth. She may have only thought Polikana would look after Lani if she had it in her possession. Never realizing the danger it put her in. This means... Lani is the real sage of Polikana, doesn't it? Uh, <sighs> A child shouldn't have to bear that kind of burden. Polikana has gone this long without her. There's no good reason to involve her now. You're right. It's all gonna be okay, Lonnie. Sit tight. Let the grown-ups protect you. The grown-ups. It's really been 45 years. You're older now than Masumi-san was the last time I saw him. You should have seen me in my prime. Uh, sorry you couldn't. I should say the same thing to you, but I've always wanted to hold you again. <laughs> and now, oh, you're much too big for me to pick up. <laughs> yeah, don't want to hurt your back. The thing is, Akane-san, I know you best as the woman Arakawa-san told me about. Mm hmm? How you carried a newborn out of the hospital? Doing everything you could to protect it? I mean, that's just amazing. There was nothing amazing about it. 
All I did was run for my life. And when I stowed that baby away, I had given up on everything. Akane-san, look what you're doing right now. Running with a child. So I am. <sighs> Some people never learn, do we? You know, Arakawa-san said to me that... Of all the women over the years, there was only one. <sighs> Even if I've only just met you, I can tell why. Thank you for that. <laughs> Eyes on the damn road. Of course. I'll deliver you safely. I swear on my life, boss. Right here's good. The Daidoji safe house is just up there. Hold back a second. Tetsu. All quiet. Nobody in sight. Saji. Everything looks okay, boss. Coast is clear. That's all I've got for you. I appreciate this, Yamaya. It's usually too late for men like us to do right by the people we came from. Hmm. It's us, Kasuga and everyone. I've arranged for a private jet. We're preparing for takeoff now. Another 30 minutes or so. Feel free to rest in the meantime. Oh, that's posh. Perks of being an evil enterprise, huh? Well, Hardly evil. We simply maintain the status quo. Can't see much of a difference there. Welcome. I'm pleased you're safe. I take it, you're Akane-san, then. At last, we've searched for some time. I'm moved to confess. I'm curious why my superiors find you so valuable. <clears throat> Hanawa-san, you have any tact? Could I at least try putting him at ease? Hmm. Uh, let's sit. Please. <laughs> What's wrong, Chitose-san? Just now. I saw you trying to call someone. What? What are you talking about? Hold up. Something wrong, Chichon? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> Quit playing games, Chitose-san. My phone. May I have it back? <laughs> Chitose-san. Hey, Chichon. <sighs> Listen carefully, Ichiban. He was never the person you thought he was. Akane-san and Lani aren't safe here. Huh? <sighs> Forgive me, please. I'm sorry. He's been blackmailing me all along. I couldn't tell you. Uh, uh, I'm confused. Is this some kind of private joke I don't get? Chi-chan, how could A-chan be blackmailing you? With what? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Chitose-san and I just met the other day. <laughs> hey! What are you doing? He can move his legs just fine. The wheelchair's a goddamn front. Ichiban, think about it. You used to care for someone in a wheelchair. Masato Arakawa, right? Uh. 
He reminds you of him, doesn't he? That was the plan from the beginning. Get in the chair. Play on your sympathies. Wait a second. You're saying Achan... You're saying his legs work? He can walk? No. I... I I'd have known. I... I would have been able to tell. Achan wasn't... He's not... Hey, John. Oh, look at you. Never been a bigger sucker. <laughs> Lidocaine, it's called. It's a fast-acting, localized anesthetic. At the time, I said, how hard could it be to fake being crippled? <laughs> <sighs> Luckily, Ebina-san insisted you'd spot an act. <laughs> Ebina? As in Siryu clan Ebina? <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> the fuck? Who are you? Disappointing. Chitose Fujinomiya. He never had the heart. Never could see it through. You know what's going to happen now. Your life's not worth shit. Hey, John. You bastard. Ichiban, we don't have time. They're already here. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Johnny! <laughs> Oh, come on, break. Prepare yourself! 
Check the PSI. <laughs> everyone she's unconscious but it's uh not good for them <gasps> Hanawa son long they were both shot they're dead Son, it's Kasuga. What's happened? Oh no, son. He's been killed. Wong, too. And Lonnie. Holikana has me. She's gone. Forgive me. Everything. I screwed everything up. So, A.G. tipped off Dwight about the safe house. And if what he said is true, he's also got ties to Ebina. I have that right. Yeah. Then if he knows Dwight, I imagine he knows Bryce by way of association. That means it's A.G., Bryce of Polycana, and Ebina of the Serio clan. All of them working against us. How could I let this happen? Everything. It's all my fault. Aichan made a fool of me. We're dealing with someone who put himself in a wheelchair because he dug up your history with Ma- I doubt many people could see through something so- So don't put this all on yourself. Yeah, but... Hanawa-san and Wong still died. Akane-san got hurt. Lonnie's still gone, and now we're looking for her all over again! I know it's a bad situation. We're at rock bottom, and it can't get much worse. <sighs> but listen, Kasuga. That's all the more reason to keep your head up. Guys like us, all we can do is swallow the pain and push forward. Uh Kitose. I still don't have the full story. 
You said Aja was blackmailing you? What did you mean? I wish I could tell you, but now it's hardly the time. The police could be here any minute, and I'd rather be long gone. That said, I do need to get something off my chest. Here, Yusan. Ichiban. Yeah? You've heard of the Tatara channel, yeah? The one that put false accusations on Ichiban and the party, and outed Kiryu-san's existence to the world? What about it? The VTuber running the show, Hisoka Tatara. Well, that was me. What? I'll demonstrate. What's up, people? The Tara Channel coming at ya! Ready for another mind-blowing revelation? Cause here it is! The Dragon of Dojima's been spotted in Hawaii! That voice... Chichan? You're her? Yeah. And it was Eiji who pointed me at you. You wrote the script, I did the song and dance. Now you know the truth. I'd say that's pretty damning evidence. Still, I wouldn't have guessed it was Eiji behind all that. It's just like you said earlier. Eiji's been working with Ebina from the start. Everything he does is under Ebina's orders. Speaking of, Ebina's starting some kind of garbage storing business with Polykana. Yeah, I heard it from the man himself. Now I know which parts he left out. Well, they've all been chasing Akane-san because she's sheltering Lani. Apparently, they thought sending Ichiban to Hawaii would help lure them out. And to see that through, Eiji's been keeping tabs on him from the moment they met on the plane. As for me, I was just another pawn in their game. Chichana. So it's confirmed then. We're up against Bryce, Ebina, and Eiji in the end. Not to mention Sawashiro. Uh, the captain? Yeah. When Tatar and Ebina outed me, he was right there with them on video. It's true, Ichiban. You put us through some major shit over here. Uh, no, uh, hang on a sec. You really think... You really think that's right? What do you mean? I know this might sound crazy, but... Guys, I don't think the captain would put Akane-san in danger. Huh? Ichiban, you realize who you're talking about? He'll do anything and everything. Or save his own skin. For instance, wasn't he gonna kill Akane-san just to hide his dirty secret from his boss? But he held back. Also, it was for the young master. To give his son a better life. And now... Now that he's lost everything, all he's got left is making good on his debt to Arakawa-san. Think about it. Why else would he let himself get locked up for a murder he didn't commit? There's no way he'd leave Akane-san to the wolves. Not after all this. You're that sold, huh? Hurry it up, Ichiban. We need to go, now! Kiryu-san, when the captain asked me to go to Hawaii, he bowed to me. I know him. Bowing his head to me, of all people, can't be just an act. That's one thing he'd never do. Me meeting Akane-san would help the captain bury one of his last regrets. That has to be why he sent me. And Sawashiro, you really think Ebina hasn't looped him in on his real plan? <sighs> I do. That's true. Then he might not be on Ebina's team after all. Here, you son. Could you talk to the captain for me? Right now, I need to go after Lonnie. If we don't act fast, she might be gone forever. All right, we'll take this from separate angles. If anything changes, I'll contact you right away. Guess we've got ourselves a date with Sawashiro. Anyone lower on the totem pole won't be worth the trouble. So storming Seiryu HQ's on hold then? 
Yeah. But first things first, we need a way to contact Sawashiro. Hey, you heard that, right? You know how to get a hold of them. <sighs> like I tell you! <laughs> Over my dead body! If I were you, I'd choose my words more carefully. Uh, don't waste your breath, okay? Sawashiro may be elusive, but he's still in- You were quick, Sunny. <sighs> Something wrong, Psycho? It's just, didn't this Eiji guy completely pull the wool over Ichiban's eyes? Yeah. And now Ichiban's saying Sawashiro, of all people's, reformed. What makes him so sure? If you told me he was working for- Yet somehow, you believe him. Maybe he sees something we don't. After all, isn't that one of his- uh, How do I resp- Well, whoever side he's on, Sawashiro is still a key figure in all this. <sighs> True enough. Okay then, let's get moving. Right. When push comes to shove, you gotta keep your head up. Here you, son. Okay. I see you got here quick. Should have known you two would hustle. Yeah, what took you? Hey, Zhao! Chungi Han! How are you? It's been so long. Hmm. Indeed. I see you two are as lively as ever. Well, hello there. <laughs> Taichi Suzuki-san. I've seen you two around. He used to lead the Yokohama Liomang, and I'm sure you remember Jungi Han. Sunny filled me in on the details, including those about your condition. Did she? Guess that saves us some time. Who are they? Some local detectives. I call them up every now and again to keep me informed on Ijin Cho's latest and greatest. They're still in the trial phase, of course. On that note, looks like your detective doesn't recognize our man Kiryu-san. Well, ignorance is bliss, as they say. So that's what's up. Sawashiro's a hard man to read, I'll admit. Depending on how deep he's in with Ebina, we may want to rethink our approach. The Seryu clan's been similarly hard to read, after Takabe, the next chairman, went to prison. But hearing this puts a lot into perspective. Yeah? How so? It goes back to Takabe's arrest. He was suspected of handing his men illegal firearms. Apparently there was a rat, and now it's smelling more and more like Ebina. Why? I heard a Seryu clan informant leaked the details that led to Takabe's arrest. Now, if Ebina was truly after a second great dissolution, 
he wouldn't need his superior out of the picture. So at the time, we never pinned him as the traitor. However, if the dissolution is merely a ruse, and his true goal was to take the reins of the Seriu clan, then it's all but certain that Takabe's arrest is his doing. Is it possible he wanted to split up the Yakuza, but then change his mind after swearing up himself? Or maybe he joined the Seiryu clan intending to take over from the start. And to do that, he even sacrificed his career with the police. Why do all that, though? That's what I'd like to know. Actually, if Sawashiro's always sticking around Ebina, I bet he'd have some clue. Yeah. Assuming he's not on board with Ebina's plans, like Kasuga says. Well, Sunny already knows how to contact the guy. Let's just dial him up and see if we'll talk. As long as Ebina's not breathing down his neck. What's up? Sawashiro speaking. It's Kiryu. We need to talk. Uh, Kiryu-san. Where are you right now? Your boss there with you? Before we get lost in the weeds, care to tell me what this is about? I just want to have a conversation. Somewhere Ebina isn't around. Ah, uh, well, that's unfortunate. Now things are rather busy on my end. As you may be aware, I've got my hands full training our men for Hawaii. You're nothing but a talking head to those men. And your hands are full doing what exactly? Wiping Ebina's ass? <laughs> Cute. If it was Ichi who said that, I'd have slit his throat right now. Then maybe you should say that to my face. Or are you too much of a coward? I'm at the Siryu clan warehouse at the docks. Nanba should know how to get there. I trust Ebina won't be there listening? No. But it won't be a private meet, and I doubt they'll appreciate intruders, so... Don't go expecting a warm welcome. Fair enough. Well, if you're that dead set on it, I won't bother talking you... So, how should we take that exactly? If we go see Sawashiro, we'll be... Yep, sure sound. If you ask me, I think... So. Yeah? Just think about it. If he wasn't interested, he... Ne In fact, it's almost like... Wait a sec. So does this mean he's... Act well, hell, let's get our asses over... However, there's a... Ch meaning once we set foot into that warehouse, we'll have to go through horde... Uh, then how do we know whether Sawashiro... Only way to know for sure is to... As risky as it sounds... I guess we don't have much choice. Oh, guess not. Okay, then why don't I lend you a hand? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what? I'm not invited? No, we could use your help, if it's all right. You think I'd rather chill here and let Sunny hog all the fun? No, but think about it. If you two make a big scene, could disturb what little peace hangs in the balance. That's why we have you to keep the scales from tipping. You make it sound so simple. I won't deny that we could use an extra ally. But given your position, won't it cause problems? Hey, there are problems in Eugene show as it is, and it's them who started this shit. Besides, if I let my position hold me back, what kind of lame-ass friend would I be? That isn't stopping you, right? <laughs> Whoops. May have spoken out of turn there. No, I think I'm the one who's guilty of that. Forgive me. I take it you're on board? Huh. I suppose. I won't welcome him with open arms or anything, but maybe a pat on the head will do. Sheesh! What do I gotta do to get on your good side? <laughs> it's all good. Let's get out there and kick some ass together. Hell yeah! Chow's back to spice up the party! At this point, we're basically unstoppable, right? Must be nice, having all the fun to yourselves.
Let's give this a try. I don't know about this. something presentable. <laughs> this isn't bad. Eh, whatever works. Ooh, I make this look good, baby. Perfection. Maybe it's time I change styles. It's 
my turn. In for the kill! <laughs> Allow me to take that I'm to slow you down. Photography. Actually, I used to be really into taking pictures. And you're not anymore? Well, in the past, I would snap pics of everything around. Hello? If Date hear you, you remember the place I brought? Yeah. I... Come by when you're free. Okay. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting. To... Good old photography. Actually, I used to be really into taking pictures. And you're not anymore? Well, in the past, I would snap pics of everything around me. But one day, I realized I just couldn't find any more inspiration. Maybe I'd seen it all. There was this emptiness. Like I had already captured ev- But I was just a kid back then. So even as a kid, you- Damn. When you put it that way. Well, if you feel like you've broadened your horizons, see if anything- Yeah. All right. Nothing beats fresh baked bread. That said, I've been buying it less and less these days. Did you get bored, you think? Oh, no. It's just that I recently got myself a bread... A bread maker? So you've been... The newest ones are pretty amazing. You can even adjust the fermentation time to change the texture of the bread. Oh, okay. And by tuning the temperature, you can change up how soft you want your crust. Oh, there's a great deal on it right now, too. And it even comes with a cashback... Have you ever thought about writing commercials? Huh? Things are going well. There's a sharpness to your fighting style. Oh, Jao. Your strike is like the flick of a wrist. You think so? Ooh. Maybe all my hard work's paid? Have you been doing some kind of specialized training? Nope. Just draining water from noodles. That's it? The goal is to make quick, reflexive movements in as few moves as possible. Too much waving your arms around screws with the noodle, and the snap of your wrist is key. So I guess it showed up in my fighting, too. To think it all stems from something as wholesome as making noodles. 
What else is up your sleeve, Chef Zhao? All right. I hear that place has good soft serve. Says they use almond jelly. That does sound good. Soft serve? But ice cream's supposed to be sweet. Nanchan, what do you- Back at my old job, my boss wanted to get back quick to impress him, then I stumbled. Oh, no! No way. I didn't have that kind of time. No. No, so I grabbed it, but of course I didn't see how much dirt and crap got mixed in until I- Ugh. I told him, I promise next time I'll take a less dirty street. That was the best to get off. Shameful may it be, all this talk is making me want some soft serve. Hey, now I'm a kid. Uh, have you been listening? Oh, they're selling gyoza. Ah, oh, smells fantastic. Should we get some? That's all right. I actually... I always get lost in thought when I'm filling and shaping. It helps me think things through. Hmm. I can understand that. And I end up making a ton whenever there are big concerns or budget issues. I guess it takes a mountain of gyoza to hide a mountain of problems. Things are going well. French food we had at this one place a while back. Oh, must be nice to be filthy rich and eat like Oh, yeah? Well, who wouldn't be? Though I bet I'd probably get pretty fat eating So, maybe I am jealous. This old timer I knew once told me something I've kept- And what's that? The rich pay for my social, so who's really coming out on? How about that? <sighs> oh, man's got a point. Oh, brother. Oh, you shit me. Something up. There's this walk. Made by a famous craftsman that just got released today. I wanted to try it out, so I was really gunning for it. There were limited quantities, and they have all been snatched up already. Guess it wasn't high demand. Well, yeah, they're popular. Scalpers? Yeah. They buy up all I see. Bastards aren't even gonna use what they bought. If I ever find one in person... Not sure anyone wants that on them. All right. <laughs> This brings back memories. Irashimase.
ありがとう Sneakers from a sweepstake. Miraculously, they. I guess you really can win. I was surprised too, but I'm always wearing high heels though, so. Huh. Never thought. Oh, it genuinely feels like you can walk. I do wear a lot of dress shoes. Maybe I should make the change too. Yeah. Let's all get some sneakers. Watch. You'll want to walk from Hokkaido all the way down. If the shoes even make it out of Hokkaido, that is. Things are going well. いらっしゃいませ。takes me back. I'm ready. Is always so beautiful. Uh, look at that Ferris. I remember seeing a kaiju movie. Huh? Yeah, I know the one. How is it? Ugh, I swear, men can't appreciate so much as a view without imagining giant monsters. 
Yes, and when the kaiju wrestled with each other and demolished the pier, so sick. Uh, uh, oh, you're into this stuff? The ending of that flick was pretty sad, wasn't it? He dies for it. sinks down into the ocean. That movie's still popular. You can stream it? Well, now I've got to see it. This brings back memories. Your favorite subject? Uh, it wasn't much for any of them. But I guess I enjoyed science. I like the liquid nitrogen experiments. You know, freezing bananas. Right. Did you try to? I did. And then it started to melt, so it smelled like. Bananas. Well, I guess it. All right. I've really gotten to know them. It's my turn. I'll take you on. In for the kill. Here we go.
much to hold on. That's the point of it. Here we go. I don't think I can do this. This will be tough. Man's will give up. be tough. still a thing at schools? Ours. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had the piano that played itself at night. They're probably out of fashion by now. Uh, we? Um, do you think we're the... A while back, I heard about an anna... Hmm, really? That's another common one, isn't it? Huh? Think it's because they're upright all day? Makes sense I'd want to move around. I never thought about it that way. What about the toilet ghost? Yeah, I never knew why it was she stuck in... Has she just got a nasty, upset stomach or something? Well, shit. In that case, I'm more sympathetic than scared. We've all been there. Huh. Monaco-san. Maybe we've misjudged you. Goes to show you should always make an effort to see things from another perspective. Mm-hmm. We don't put ourselves in other people's sh Guess even monsters can teach us some morals. This brings back memories. Hey, there's a school here. <laughs> Makes 
cost me myth. Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, we wore those old high collar ones. Actually, Kiryu san. Yeah. It might be kind of fun to spend a day in uniform, unless you've got a time machine. Oh, my club does a school uniform night. We've even got men's ones, too. I guess anything's possible. Things are going well. Here you saw. I bet you'd make a good team. Really? Hmm. You'd have a delinquent student, and then you'd find the warehouse he was held in, kick ass to rescue him. Oh, yeah. That's you to a team. <laughs> so, what you really mean is I'd make a good teacher in a teen drama. All right. Our bond's getting deeper.